behalf of Sister Teresa Nasrit, the province, province leader, and her council to this awesome Jubilee festivity of our dear Jubilarians. I am incredibly thankful to Reverend Father Ravi Taneya Marineni, the Regional Superior of FEME in India, who consented to grace over this Holy Eucharist for us and bringing down the heavenly blessings upon us. We welcome you, dear Father. It's a moment of great pressure for me to welcome all the concelebrants who are the part of this divine banquet. Welcome, dear fathers. With immense admiration and affection, we welcome Sister Antonella Tuhleri, our congregation leader, Sister Biji Philip, the general counselor, for their presence with our jubilarians who made their efforts to join this ceremony. Welcome, dear sisters. I am profoundly joyous to welcome the province leaders, delegate leaders, and counselors from Hong Kong, Vijayawada, Siliguri, and Delhi. Hearty welcome to all. I feel pleased to welcome each and every one of you present here. Warm welcome to all the online participants joining us from the different places, friends, relatives, benefactors, well-wishers, and subscribers of Liturgy Channel. Welcome, dear friends. It's wel let's welcome the jubilarians and join with them in thanking God for the graceful years of their religious life. As they march forward with lighted candles in their hands, followed by the liturgical dance. Sakala Srishti Sthiti Layaka Najivita Payananiki Mula Dharama Ni Seva Kainanu Abishaking China Deva Panduku Na Krutagnatanjali Ide na krutagnata anjali Swagatagitam Swagatam Swagatam Ide Ide Jubili Gitam Ide Ide Swagatagitam Ide Ide Jubili Gitam Mukulita Hastana to Parimala Pushpana to Sumadura Gitana to E. Puja Kuspagatam Mukulita Hastana to Parimala Pushpana to Sumadura Gitana to E. Puja Kuspagatam Swagatam
తిని మనిషిగా మలిచావు ఆ మనిషికి ఊపిరిని పోసావు మట్టిని మనిషిగా మలిచావు ఆ మనిషికి ఊపిరిని పోసావు సమానునిగా నన్ను చేశావు అపురూప సృష్టిగా మరిచావు Just 
गण स्वागतम प्रिय सुराज गण स्वागतम दूतल वृंद गाल तो दो प्रदीप बाबाल तो सप्त स्वराल गीताल तो कृतज्ञ हृदयाल तो In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. extol you my god and king today is the day of joy a day of rejoicing it is the jubilee the jubilee of our sisters celebrating 60 50 and 25 years of commitment of saying as to god's call dear friends on this jubilee occasion we extol our god and king as we celebrate the solemnity of christ the king may jesus the king reign over his queens the jubilarians we join them on this solemn occasion of their diamond golden and silver jubilee to thank the lord for the marvelous blessings on them Today we rejoice and celebrate God's faithfulness his steadfast love his infinite mercy and compassion towards our sisters during the past 60 50 25 years of their religious consecration Celebrating a jubilee is not just an accomplishment but an act of gratitude for the gift that that has been given to our dear sisters we continue to rejoice with you for this day of thanksgiving as yes, it's indeed an occasion of great celebration a moment of grace a memorable day to cherish This special event has filled the atmosphere with gratitude, praise and thanksgiving to God the Almighty. Today, along with the Blessed Virgin Mary, who marveled at the works of God through her great magnificat, we the MSIs are marveling at the amazing works of God, joyously beholding the blessings of the Lord. enthusiastically singing the praises of the lord and gratefully thanking the greatness of the lord for the speculating at the wonders 
God has done in the lives of our sisters for the past 60, 50, and 25 years of grace. Today, dear friends, we rejoice in the love of God that is reflected and made alive in the life of our jubilarians. Thank you, sisters, for your S to God's call years ago and your daily S to your spouse and to his church. On this day of rejoicing, we remember your parents, formators, and all those who have accompanied you on your journey of faithfulness to the Lord during past years of your religious life. We remember affectionately your companions who are in the mission lands and those who could not be the part of the celebration due to illness and other reasons. Fondly, we remember your companions who have reached the Father's abode and are joining you at this moment with the choirs of angels. May this Eucharist... As we are gathered here for today's celebration, especially the Mother Church celebrates today the wonderful feast, the Christ the King. Let us ask the Lord to bless our sisters. Before we enter into this Eucharistic celebration, let us pause for a moment and we ask the Lord pardon for all our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us all, forgive all of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
in your beloved son the king of the universe grant we pray that all creations set free from slavery 
May you render your majesty service and ceaselessly, ceaselessly proclaim your praise. We ask this through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First letter of St. Peter, chapter 1, verse 25. The word of God as revealed to us through the scriptures must become our rock foundation upon which our whole lives must be built. The words of the Bible have life. God works through these words. We are to listen to God as he speaks to us. As we open our ears to listen to his words, may he fill us with his love and enable us to rely on his word, thus to bear fruit. of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, you are born and you are flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the Israelites out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, You shall step my people you are shepherd of my people, Israel, and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King of David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him the King of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
with every power in accord with his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions, or principalities, our powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things, he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things to him, making peace by the blood of his cross, whether those on earth or in those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 1, 
verses 46 to 55. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his handmaid's loneliness. Behold, from now on will all ages call me blessed. The mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age to those who fear him. He has shown mighty with his arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. He has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry he has filled with the good things, the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, according to his promise to our fathers, Abraham, and to his descendants forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflect deeply on the Word of God during this special celebration, Feast of the Christ the King, a wonderful feast. And today, especially all of you, when you made your first profession, you accepted Jesus as your king. And today celebrate this feast of the Christ the King. Little bit history of the king's roles in our own history and in the scriptures. In the Old Testament, especially from the book of Samuel, Israelites rejected God, the true king. And they demanded an earthly king. And therefore, they started to have the kings, King David. King Solomon like that. Book of Daniel speaks about, uh, describes major kingdoms, four major kingdoms or empires. The first one is Chaldean and Babylonian Empire that started 625 BC. And then started the Medo-Persian Empire that started 530 AD BC. And then started Greco-Macedonian Empire that started 333 BC. And finally the Roman Empire established 31, 34, first year of the BC. In this way we know from the history these empires have been established very well. They functioned very well. And finally collapsed. By reflecting on them, it helps us to remind, it reminds us that the kingdoms of this world, the kings of this world reigned only for some time. The kingdoms did not last for long. When you go to Rome, you see the Roman Empire, their magnificent buildings that have been come to the earth level. Book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 18, it says, But the holy people of God most high will receive the kingdom and will possess it forever. Yes, forever and and ever. And therefore, dear brothers and sisters, the kingdom built on Jesus Christ our Lord remains forever and ever. And we trust our King and we have dedicated our lives to our King. Let us reflect on Jesus and his kingdom and kings of this earth. The first one, the birth of the kings. The kings of this world are born with uh, many of the things of this earthly belong. But uh, our Lord Jesus Christ was born with the prophecy. A beautiful things he was spoken about already in the Old Testament book of Isaiah. Chapter 9, verse 6 to 7, we can read. For to us, a child is born. To us, a sign is given. The government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Peace of Peace, Prince of Peace. It was foretold about his birth, not the kings of the old. There is no prophecy about them. And the kings of the earth, they are born in riches, richness. They are born in rich palaces, enrobed with golden thrones and the vestments. But our Lord Jesus Christ is born in a manger. Luke chapter 2 verse 7. She gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in the swaddling clothes, laid him in a manger, because there was a no place for them in the inn. He was born in his place where the cattle used to live. And so his birth also was not like, in a, uh, like that we think about for the kings of this world. How they lived. Kings lived with the riches, with the servants, with everything at their service. Make and call for them. But Jesus lived without anything. Jesus says, Foxes have dens, birds have the air nets, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. He has no place. The kings of this world lived for them themselves and for their children. They had riches, everything for themselves and they lived for their own self-glory, their for own kingdom, but our Lord Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 20, 28, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve 
and to give his life as a ransom for all of us the mission of the kings kings their mission is to establish one kingdom after the other go for war and established one kingdom after the other that was their mission but mission of jesus christ which is revealed in gospel of luke chapter 4 43 jesus reveals his purpose to proclaim the kingdom jesus describes his mission saying that he must preach the good news of the kingdom of god our msi sisters and our pma fathers especially we have this charism only thing is to proclaim the good news to all the nations so we were glad this mission of jesus we are continuing especially among the non christians the kings of this world have armies plenty of armies thousands lakhs and so on but our lord jesus christ 12 apostles one of them betrayed and 72 disciples some of them are women some of them are fishermen uneducated and so on but the kings of this world had armies well trained but our lord jesus christ relied on 12 apostles and other disciples the life and death of the kings kings of this world lived for themselves people lived to protecting and serving them they never served they for themselves they had a number of people to serve them they died naturally or in fighting for their own kingdoms but our lord jesus christ first peter chapter 3 verse 18 for christ also suffered once for all our sins the righteous for the unrighteousness and righteousness to bring you to god he was put to death in the body but made alive in the spirit the reason we celebrate his feast as the king he never lived as a king but we celebrate his birth as a king the burial of the kings of this world the burials of the kings of this world are done high scale mourning for months and months years of year but our lord jesus christ died helpless on the cross and finally had no place to be buried matthew chapter 7 verse 58 59 and 60 when joseph had taken the body he wrapped it with the linen clothes laid it in a new tomb which he had hewed out of the rock and he rolled the large stone against the door of the tomb departed they departed in silence and finally their death after death the kings and their kingdom all have no only in the history but they have no another king started to rule but there is no continuity but our lord jesus Christ his death is different acts of the apostle chapter 5 verse 30 and 31 it is a resurrection of jesus that reveals his true nature to all who see, will see god exalted him at his right hand as the leader as a savior and to give repentance and the forgiveness of our sins so dear friends as we celebrate today great feast of the christ the king whom we accepted lovingly faithfully to serve him matthew chapter 25 verse 4 40 the king will reply truly i say to you whatever you did for the least of these brothers and sisters you did it for me so all of us accepted to serve the lord i remember some of our sisters serving leprosy people that is not an easy job to go close to them first experience myself i had i went along with father pikasha and one of our some of our nirmala sisters to a leprosy colony in elur i was a seminarian i was standing very far from them but father pikasha went close to them he embraced them and he started to drink milk that was given from from them and our sisters went close to them touching their wounds and giving their serving and cleaning them that inspired me that inspired me lord to be a missionary so our sisters working with the leprosy people especially evangelization work frontier work of reaching the gospel it's not that easy many of our sisters had a tough time in the missions especially in papua new guinea in africa and different parts of the world but they never lose lost their sight of preaching they continue to preach and be a missionary our mother beloved mother josephine donnes always says lord whatever you want i want give me only the grace to love you and deny you nothing and but, but give you generously and lovingly whatever you ask me your friends your sisters as a concelebrants here present here today we are so joyful to see all of you celebrating 60 years of your service 50 years of your service 25 years of your service we are grateful to god for your service in all the parts of the world i used to now and then joke with one of my friends father george putampur also is celebrating 50 years i was telling him we will only reach 25 years jubilee but not 50 years because 
you people are strong so you have reached 60 years of your jubilee so let's praise and thank the lord for wonderful gift of vocation to be the missionaries in the msi family and we ask the lord and our, our founders and foundresses so god may continue to bless you to continue this mission and entrust this mission to the younger generation may god bless you his daughters we intend to renew their consecration to god before the church and for the cause of the evangelization dear sisters you are dead to sin in baptism and committed to follow jesus more closely for your religious profession the 60th 50th 25th anniversary of your dedication to the lord for the proclamation of the gospel is a special moment of gratitude to the lord who has called you to share his mission an occasion to renew your commitment let us pray together so that these sisters may always be sustained by god's grace in their decision to walk in the footsteps of jesus let us remain in silence look graciously o lord upon this your daughters whom you have called according to your loving designs to follow your son more closely and grant them the grace to be able to bring to completion with a loving perseverance the path they have chosen for the sake of your kingdom through Christ our lord amen, amen. now we invite the jubilarians to make their loving profession of renewal Father, source of truth and mercy, infuse the virtue of perseverance into these of your daughters, so that with your help they continue to be faithful in this state of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As they made their vow of commitment, let us give them a big applause. Congratulate them. <laughs> let us offer our prayers to the Heavenly Father. Let our response be. Grant that through the witness of our life and the 
proclamation of the gospel we may contribute to the coming of your kingdom hear our prayer hear our prayers hear our prayers god of mercy Yes. 
Heavenly Father, we bring all our prayers and ourselves to your altar. Accept us and our prayers. We ask all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear Diamond Jubilarians, the offering of the number 60 symbolizes of your diamond years. We thank God for his blessings upon each one of you and his amazing love that you have experienced in your life journey. On this joyous day, we pray that he may bless you to be a blessing to others. Dear Golden Jubilarian, the offering of the number 50 is a symbol of golden years in your religious life. May your life be filled with thanksgiving and praise for your countless blessings the Lord has bestowed on each one of you. May your heart extol in jubilation and become a source of God's magnanimous love for others. Dear Silver Jubilarians, God has poured upon you grace upon grace and graced your silver years with his graceful presence. As you offer the number 25 as a symbol of your silver years, may you be blessed and become graceful to oneself and others in your life journey. Lord, with the gift of bread and wine, we pray gracefully for all who are joining us in the joy of our celebration during this meal divine. May each one of us be blessed to be the bearers of God's life in the world. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled as to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all the nations the gifts of unity and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 
and with your spirit lift up your heart we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God for you anointed your only begotten Son our Lord Jesus Christ with the oil of gladness an eternal priest and king of all creation so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule he might present to him to the immensity of your majesty an eternal universal kingdom a kingdom of truth and life a kingdom of holiness and grace a kingdom of justice and love and peace and so with all the angels and our kings with the thrones and the dominions and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and the working of the holy spirit he give life to all things and make them holy and he never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to his setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your holy name therefore lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries from the night he was betrayed himself to bread giving you thanks he said the blessing and broke the bread gave it his disciples say take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying 
take these all of you and ring from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to your Son. Grant that we are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son, may be filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed virgin mary mother of god with saint joseph with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help may this sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray O lord advance the grace and salvation of all the world be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant pope francis and cardinal antony our bishop the order of bishops all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have whom you have summoned before you in your compassion o merciful father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters especially we remember today all those who have come to you from the congregation MSI and to all who have who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good Christ to dwar Christ to Christ to nandu ಸರ್ವಶಕ್ತಿ ಕಲಪಿತೈನ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರ ಪವಿತ್ರಾತ್ಮತೋನೇಕಮಯ್ಯುಂಡು ನೀಕು ಯುಗ ಯುಗಮುಲು ಗೌರವ ಮಹಿಮಾಲು ಕಲುಗುನುಗಾಕ ಗೌರವ ಮಹಿಮಾಲು ಕಲು ಪ್ರಾಣಿಯಾರಿ 
किसी में उतारूंगी अर्चना अर्चना पुष्प धरी अर्चना 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 पुष्प धरी अर्चना प्रभु तुम्हारी बंदना किसी में किसी में उतारूंगी वंदना वंदना दीप दरे वंदना 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 As one family gather around the table of the Lord, let us pray in the words of our Savior, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation. Deliver us, Lord. We pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of Your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are Yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, "Your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of Your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with Your will, live and reign forever and ever." Amen. The Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let a joyful exchange the sign of peace be. Lamb of God, you take away. You take away the sins of the sins of the world. The world missing. of God we call me takes away the sins of the world world blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter into my room but only say the word and my soul shall be healed and basu me risa roshan kar jeevan
Having received the food of immortality, we ask you, Lord, that glory in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly King, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. I will praise the Lord with all my heart. I will tell of the wonderful things you have done. Dear Reverend Father Revitanaya, Regional Superior of FEME, Dear Sister Antonella Tovaleri, Our Congregation Leader, Sister Teresa Nasrath, Sister Blanche Dimello, Sister Ansi Joseph, Sister Carmela Pami, Sister Susila Turki, Leaders of our provinces, Dear Fathers and Sisters, On behalf of Diamond, Golden and Silver Jubilarians, We stand here to express our sincere gratitude to you all. Today, our hearts are filled with gladness and thanksgiving to the Most Holy Trinity for the unconditional love and fruitfulness which we have experienced during these years of our religious life. It is His mercy and goodness that have brought us up to this day to sing His praises for all the wonders and marvels He has accomplished all through these years of our consecrated life. I would like to express a heartfelt gratitude to you, dear Reverend Father Ravitanaya, the PMA Regional Superior, the main celebrant of today's Eucharistic celebration. Thank you, Father, for your thought-provoking sermon and above all, your valuable prayers and your presence. A word of thanks to you, dear Fathers, who concelebrated and joined in praying for us. Your Presence brought more solemnity to today's celebration. Thank you, dear fathers. Little deeds of kindness and mercy makes the land a heaven. We are thrilled to express our thanks to Sister Andonella Tovaleri, our congregation leader, Sister Biji Philip, General Counselor, for being present in our midst to grace this occasion. Thank you, sisters, for your very presence with us and for your love and concern. He who receives kindness should never forget it. He who offers kindness should never remember it. It adds joy and color to have our province leaders and delegates and all their counselors for your great prayerful support and guidance during our life's journey. We are very grateful to Sister Teresa Nasrath and Sister Lena Fernandez for being with us during these days and fulfilling all our needs with utmost love and care. It is indeed praiseworthy that you have made yourself free from all other responsibilities and preoccupations to make sure that we are comfortable and at ease. Thank you, dear sisters. May heaven shower his blessings upon you today and always. 
we do remember all our parents relatives vocation promoters formators community leaders sisters in the communities where we have lived who had played a vital role in our growth and formation may god bless and reward you all for your generosity and kindness that you have shared with us in fostering and strengthening our vocation and helped us to reach up to this stage thank you dear sisters we do remember all the departed souls of our parents formators superiors sisters of our batchmates may god grant them eternal bliss a heart sing a song of gratitude to a second part provincial house community sisters and sister olivia for the creative and meaningful liturgy and for the beautiful decoration and your prayers and support we express our thanks to each one of you dear sisters we are grateful to sister silvana lobo the superior of novitiate community sister jacinda the novice mistress sister celia and novices for your warm welcome and celebrating our jubilee with enthusiasm and affection thank you dear sisters and novices gratitude is a sign of noble soul now i would like to turn my attention to the community sisters of nirmala dhyana sadan thank you dear sister namita the community leader sister flora and all the community sisters here for taking active part to make this celebration very grand we do appreciate your spirit of sacrifice generosity love and dedication to give the best of yourselves by reaching out everywhere and taking care of the minute needs of ours and making us to feel our stay here as a memorable one thank you dear sisters we express our sincere and deep gratitude to sister fabiola mr christy and the novices for your melodious singing we have indeed you have indeed led us to a deep divine experience all the while we were moved to feel that we are one with the choirs of angels may jesus reward you for your hard work and availability love includes everyone and excludes none so we thank in a very special way our supporting staff for their cooperation and their hard work a big thanks to you all finally we thank whole heartedly all those who are present here and all those who have worked behind the curtains and all those who prayed and praying for us all and those who prepared the delicious meals for us we also express our sincere thanks to mr vijay ceo of liturgy tv channel who did the live telecast which enabled our dear ones to watch this celebration thanks to you all by chance anyone to whom we owe our gratitude has been not mentioned i say a big thanks to you may mary our mother bless us all thank you one and all the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you all the father and the son and the holy spirit Masses and let go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. While the final hymn goes on, we request all the priests, the cream of our institute, and the jubilarians to be there at the altar for the group photo session. Jubilee, 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 jubilee
For this moment, on behalf of Sister Teresa Nasrin, the province leader, and every member of Hyderabad province, I invite you, offline and online audience in attendance, to join us in this jubilant moment of celebration. When we consider the commitment of 60, 50, and 25 years to any unique lifestyle, all are not fortunate to arrive at this milestone. But we are glad that you have reached dear jubilarians. We celebrate your call, your life, your service. But above all, we celebrate God today at this moment. Let's then joyfully, blissfully, graciously amidst the angelic ambient and round of applause welcome the dignitaries of this moment on the dais as the DJ plays. <laughs>
Committee, the General Counselor, Sister Carmela Palmay, Blanche DiMello and her team from Vijayawada, Sister Jacinta Xavier, Vice Province Leader of Siliguri with her team, Sister Ansi Joseph, Delegate Leader of Delhi, Fathers, Sisters, Friends and Family Members, and dearest jubilarians. Today we have gathered here to honor you, four diamond jubilarians, 26 golden jubilarians, and nine silver jubilarians for your spectacular journey of 60, 50, and 25 years of religious life. Dear jubilarians, jubilee is both looking back and looking forward. We wish to celebrate with you the joys of today, the memories of bygone, and the hopes for tomorrow. When we see all of you, we cannot but recall the stories hidden behind each of your expression. We recall the energies of your youth in serving the neediest. We recall your fruitfulness, joys, blessings together with your struggles, disappointments and pains that watered the life of our MSI family. So let's begin this moment of felicitation through the glimpse of our culture and ethnicity by a welcome dance by the students of St. Claret School, Mitchell. Thank you. 
you, dear students, for your infectious energy and graceful moves. We are highly indebted to the management of St. Claret School. A big round of applause. <laughs> dear jubilarians, today we honor what you have and not what you got. We remember how much you have done and not how much you have won. We recall how much you have sacrificed and saved. These emotions well up in us into a song of jubilation. I call upon the novitiate community to congratulate you through their mellifluous and melodious jubilee anthem.
Wonderful. Thank you. And now is the time for the cutting of the cake. I would like to invite all the jubilarians to come on the dice. The diamond jubilarians here, the golden jubilarians in the center, and then the silver jubilarians. One, two, three, start! This is a beautiful item. This is a beautiful item. This is a beautiful item. So say all of us. So say all of us. So say all of us. This is a beautiful item. This is a beautiful item. This is a beautiful item. So say all of us. Big round of applause. Thank you, dear Jubilarians. You may take your seats. May I have the honor of calling Sister Antonella Thuvalieri, our congregation leader, to spray the sweet aroma of jubilation through her jubilarian. Jubilarian sisters, fathers, today is a joyful day. The atmosphere, is, uh, we cannot avoid the, the atmosphere of joyfulness and happiness. And uh, we are very, very happy. Today is a joyful day for each one of you that you are celebrating diamond, gold, and silver jubilee. It is a, a joyful day because uh, we are celebrating the faithfulness of God in your life and of course your faithfulness to him today not uh, for uh, only for all for you but uh, for all of us who are presented here to share with you this moment of joy and happiness and of course i am very glad to be here with you today you know that i am uh, the purpose the reason why i am uh, in india in this moment it is for the canonical visit to the daily delegation, but I think it's not a coincidence for me to be here. I believe that is a, it was a plan of God that brought me here to celebrate and to share with you this beautiful moment of your life. I am here with Sister Biji, the General Counselor, and being here, both of us, we would like to represent all our sisters of our missionary family. Coming here, we are, I'm sure, today, all the sisters all over the world are uh, raising the, their prayer for all of you and in, it is beautiful to celebrate this moment it is one of the moment that uh, we can say that uh, we are one apostolic body so thank you so much then I think that uh, I believe that is not a coincidence that uh, this uh, celebration is taking place in the same day of the solemnity of Christ the King once again uh, from yesterday beautiful prayer uh, we had in the evening and 
and uh, this morning too, including the Mass, the homily of Father. So to celebrate the Christ of the King for us as a missionary sister of the Immaculate, it means uh, to place Jesus at the center of our life, to renew once again your uh, vows. Our vows means uh, that uh, we commit ourselves to place to place Jesus at the center of our life. And by placing Jesus at the center of our life, uh, we will be able to uh, to to reach out uh, those who don't know in special way those uh, who don't know Jesus. So I would like to conclude this short message with uh, some word of uh, Mother. Uh, I wrote because yesterday night <laughs> some words of Mother Dones that I feel uh, interesting. Mother Dones to the sister in India on 3rd of December 1948. Just uh, arrived in India. The first group uh, of sister arrived in India. You, ha- you have become missionaries only to extend the kingdom of God in souls that God may be known by all souls that all may be saved. It is my wishes to all of you that you may continue to be a missionary only to extend the kingdom of God. My heart congratulation on behalf of all the sisters all over the world. Thank you so much. Thank you dear mother. Dear Jubilarians, now is the privileged moment to acknowledge your loyalty and faithfulness to God and to our MSI family. A moment to recognize you and all your services all through 60, 50 and 25 years. May I have the honor of calling the Jubilarians by name followed by the various teams of our institute to felicitate each one of Cerco solo te mio signor perché solo tu dai gioia al mio cuore si rallegra l'anima mia solo in te solo in te Cerco solo te mio signor perché la tua vita conduce alla vita si rallegra l'anima Solo in te, solo in te 